someone write a Rad Racer creepypasta? This one time, I was playing Rad Racer, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, the game started going into 3D, but I didn't press select, but it kept going in and out of 3D, and I was like, what's going on? Why is the game going into 3D? Is my select button broken? So I unplugged my controller, and I went downstairs, and I grabbed another controller, and I plugged it in, and sure enough, it was still going 3D, and I was like, what's going on? This is really strange. But I was playing really well, so I didn't want to quit playing. So I kept playing, even though it was going 3D on and off. And then I got to the last level, and I was like, oh my god, here we go, I'm finally going to do it. And then all of a sudden, the game crashed, and it was just this foggy screen. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? So I tried to reset my Nintendo, but it was still the same like foggy screen. So after like 10 minutes of trying, I was like, alright, screw it. So I turned on my cable program, my cable TV, so I could watch some Everyone Loves Raymond, and it was still that foggy screen. And I was like, what's going on? How could it possibly be that? I plugged in my cable thing. And then all of a sudden, a big pair of 3D glasses came out of the screen. And they attached to my face. And I was like, oh my god, it's some evil 3D glasses thing. And then all I could see was 3D. Because these 3D glasses were stuck on my head. And I had to go to school. So I went to school with these 3D glasses. Everyone was making fun of me. But I couldn't see anything because everything was like 3D. So I thought, maybe they weren't making fun of me, but they were. And then I tried to take a test. And I knew all the answers. Even though it was in 3D, it like gave me like these superpowers where I knew all the answers. So I was like, oh my god, these are like super awesome. So then, I had to decide if I was going to see 3D for the rest of my life, and know all the answers to every test ever, or take off the 3D glasses and be stupid again. But I have this dream of being a doctor, so I was like, alright, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep them on so I can pass all my tests and become a doctor. So I did, and for 8 years, I wore 3D glasses, so I could like know everything and be a doctor. So then I got my doctorate in being a doctor. And I went to go be a doctor, and the first day, I was in the office, and they were like, hey, your first patient is about to walk in, and I was like, awesome. And then, so I was sitting in my office, and I waited for my first patient to come in, and then he came in, and I was like, welcome. And I reached out my hand to grab him, and it wasn't a guy at all. It was a giant Rad Racer NES cartridge. And I was like, oh my god. And it was like, hello. I, we have met before. I gave you those glasses so you'd be smart, but I know the truth. I know that you're not actually smart. I knew the 3D glasses made you smart, and that's why I'm here, because I want the 3D glasses back. And I was like, no, you can't have 3D glasses. They're mine. I want to be a doctor, and I can't be a doctor without these 3D glasses. And then he pulled out a knife, and he was like, no, listen, I need my 3D glasses back. And then we fought, and he stabbed me in the heart, and as I was dying, he stared at me. He looked at me with those NES cartridge eyes. He stared at my soul, and he said, I'm bad. That's my Red Racer Creepypasta. Featuring bad dudes.